Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Find the last three digits of the floor value of the cube root of square root of 2 plus the cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 all raised to 2022. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. But before we start, this question comes from the Hong Kong International Mathematical Olympiad heat round on 2022. Now, let's answer this question. First thing to do is to let this number, cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 plus cube root of square root of 5 minus 2, as x. Now, what we're going to do is to cube on both sides. To cancel out this cube root. Now since we have cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 plus cube root of square root of 5 minus 2, we will use some identity. If we have a plus b quantity cube, it is equivalent to a cube plus b cube plus 3 times a b times a plus b. Now in this case, this is a cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 wherein this becomes b. This is cube root of square root of 5 minus 2. Now let's expand the right hand side. This will give us cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 cube plus cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 cube plus 3 times the quantity cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 5 minus 2 multiplied by cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 plus cube root of square root of 5 minus 2. Now let's simplify each term. This is cube root and cube cancel out. This will give us square root of 5 plus 2. And this term, the other term, is cancel out the cube root and cube. And this will give us square root of 5 minus 2. Now, let's move to the other term. Inside the cube root, we have square root of 5 plus 2 and square root of 5 minus 2. Notice that we can use this the special product because this is positive and negative. So, this is just equivalent to square root of 5 squared minus 4 or just 5 minus 4. Now 5 minus 4 is just 1 and cube root of 1 is just 1. So now let's move to the other term. Now we have cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 plus cube root of square root of 5 minus 2. Now notice that this expression is just the variable x. So let's replace this expression as x. So we have now x cubed equals square root of 5 plus 2 plus square root of 5 minus 2 plus 3 times x. Now, square root of 5 plus square root of 5 will give us 2 times square root of 5. Positive 2 and negative 2 cancel out. So, we have x cubed equals 2 times square root of 5 plus 3x. Now, let's equate this to 0. Now, what we're going to do is to try to factor this expression. Now, how are we going to do that? First thing is this negative 3x can be written as 2x minus 5x. So 2x minus 5x is just negative 3x. Now what we're going to do is to add positive square root of 5 times x squared. Now since we add square root of 5 times x squared, therefore we need to subtract square root of 5 times x squared to make it balance. Now the question is, why do we choose this expression? Now let's see why. First thing to do is to group this term, cube root plus square root of 5 x squared plus 2x. Now, on the last three terms, let's factor out negative 1. Now, notice that if we distribute this negative sign, this will give us the original expression, negative square root of 5 x squared plus 5x minus 2 times square root of 5. So, let's factor out again the negative 1. So we have negative of square root of 5 x squared plus 5x plus 2 times square root of 5. Now on the first group, let's factor out x. 
So we have x times the quantity x squared plus square root of 5 times x plus 2. Now this is the reason why we add and subtract square root of 5 times x squared. Now take note that if we factor out square root of 5 in this expression, this will give us square root of 5 times the quantity x squared plus square root of 5 times x plus 2. Now notice that we have two similar expressions, so we can factor out them. We have x minus square root of 5 multiplied by x squared plus square root of 5 times x plus 2, and it is equal to 0. Now since it is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. But notice, using discriminant in this quadratic equation, we can see that this equation will not give us a real value for x. Now take note that our given is a real number. So the only factor that will give us a real value of x is this factor x minus 5 equals 0. It follows that x must be equal to square root of 5. Now, take note that we let x equals cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 plus cube root of square root of 5 minus 2. This is just the expression inside the parentheses. Therefore, we can replace this expression with square root of 5. So our question now is what is the last three digits of the floor of square root of 5 raised to 2022? Now, square root of 5 is just 5 raised to 1 half. And then 1 half times 2022 is just 1011. Now, we can remove now the floor function because we know already that this number is definitely an integer. So now the question is, what is the last three digit of this number 5 raised to 1011? Now, how are we going to know the last three digit of this huge number? Now, let's have some pattern. 5 raised to 1, the last three digit is definitely 005. Now, 5 squared, the last three digit is just 025. Now, the last three digit of 5 cubed is just 125. The last three digit of 5 raised to the fourth power is 625. The last three digit of 5 raised to the fifth power will give us 125. The sixth power will give us 625. Seventh power is 125. Eighth power will give us 625 and so on and so forth. Now, notice that if our exponent is an odd number greater than 1, the last three digit must be 125. So we have raised to 3, 125, raised to 5, 125, raised to 7, 125, raised to 9 is also 125, and so on, and so forth. Now take note that 1011 is an odd number greater than 1. Therefore, the last three digit of 5 raised to 1011 is definitely 125. Therefore, the answer to this question, find the last three digit of floor value of cube root of square root of 5 plus 2 plus cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 raised to 2022 is simply 125. And as always, we are done.